Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. How is everyone? It is Thursday, December 1st. Coming to you from South Florida. We are out of hurricane season, thank goodness. So I am at my storage facility and I'm waiting for my friend Jesse, who just made a tremendous purchase on comic books. And I'm buying, I think, a couple of long boxes. I'm not really sure what he's bringing. Um, I'm buying them sight unseen and uh, he's pulling in right now and we're gonna go and take a look and see what he's got he's here so let's go take a peek so here we are we're at the storage unit and I've got my friend Jesse hi everybody hi, Jesse. how we doing all right look at this so we've got a bunch of comics let's look and see what we've got so this is what he's brought me, guys. I've got these uh, great looking, um, what are these, puzzles? Little big books. Little big books, yeah. and they're all individually wrapped. They're beautiful. And some Marvels, Worlds, Worlds Unknown, Weird Wonder Tales. So they do have some prices on them. It looks like maybe um, that's what they, this guy, yes, yeah, so this guy, um, this was a collection that the guy had bought over years um, at his local comic book store and wanted out from under him, just needed the money for whatever reason people need money for, maybe the holidays, so his loss is your game. His loss is my game. That's right. The thing... Some... So these are mostly early 70s. Mm -hmm. So I'm not an expert, but I think that's bronze, early bronze age, I think. So Luke Cage... Yeah, I mean, some of they're, these, you know, $15 in, to retail on my them. Gosh. Some of them, $10. I know Luke Cage just came out with a show. Captain Marvel, Iron, Iron Man, Man, Daredevil, Ghost I, Rider. Is there any Thor? That's the big question. Yeah, there's Thors. Is there Thor? Somewhere. Where's I thought Thor? I saw Thor, Captain America, Hulk. He might be. Hey, there he is. Da, 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 the demon from the depths. All right. Yes, there's some Thor. All right. Yeah. Haunted Halloween issue, Thor. Thor. I've been looking Thor. for Thor for Thor. years. <laughs> Your own personal Amazing. Thor. Yes, yeah, Spider-Man is still hot. <laughs> Fantastic Four, Avengers, Captain America. So all the popular Mar uh, Marvel titles. All right. So You're going to do a great. deal on these, right? I'm going to do a deal on these. You guys stay tuned. Um, at the end of the video, we're going to go bring them in, and I'm going to tell you what the deal is going to be. Let's go carry these in and uh, put them in the storage unit. All right. Get in hey, here and get a cart. Yeah, third, third Saturday in the market. Jesse, I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna go open the storage unit. It's a. Great. I hope everyone is having a great day, guys. Watch for a live tonight. We're gonna we're gonna be going live um, probably from down here. I think Jenea is going to come and assist. I did get another pallet full of um, stuffed animals yesterday. I worked really hard last night. I'm sorry that um, I wasn't live. I did drop a buy it now video. If you haven't seen it, I think there's like about four or five pieces left from the buy it now video. There's all the plush. We've got lots of plush. So, um, oh, I also have these, which I probably will be bringing you tonight. These are awesome. There's um, some fall stuff, some really beautiful stuff in there. And I do have to open this unit because I'm looking for a marble blanket that belongs to someone that's been asking for it. A lot of this stuff got moved around when uh, I think that I sent it, but let's see. Um... I don't know what happened to it. Oh, this guy is awesome. He's beautiful. He's made in Germany. I know I have a bunch of these guys. Marvel blanket, Marvel blanket. 
I have to try to find it. It got misplaced and I think it either ended up here or stayed here. Um, gosh, you guys, let me know if you're interested in some mystery boxes of some of this stuff. I still have so much of this stuff here. I would love to just blow it out. I'm probably going to have to do $100 mystery boxes of the... Um, of the crafts because um there's just they're so heavy and I think I did mystery boxes for 50 or maybe 60 dollars last time and the shipping on them was just too much some old books all right I'm not finding that Marvel blanket let's see he probably can't get in so let me go and let him in to the storage unit Yes. Sorry, okay. I assumed you probably couldn't get in. All right. So here comes Jesse. So, so tell me about the story on this. That you you said that it was a grandfather or something that it was a well, it was an older couple. It was their uncle. So he was a comic book guy for years and just would go down to his local comic book store and buy stuff, and here it is. Here's what he bought. So they inherited it and over that one. So we're, that this, the wrong one. we're gonna put them in this one. I have three storage units right you? now. I, I just come shopping here. Whoa. I just I know I just bought a pallet. That this is I bought two pallets. This is my second delivery. The first pallet I sold out in one night, we did a, a selling event here and we would wrap them on the table as soon as they sold. And I still have a bunch of them that I've, I've got to ship out today. Cool. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, and I just got another delivery yesterday, but some of them, you know, the, it's a nice mix of old and new, like this is a Hallmark. And these are highly collectible, the, cool. the old Hallmarks. So plush is really trending right now. For some reason, I think a lot of people from like, you know, our generation, my generation, they're looking for like plush that they had when they were younger and they're going on eBay and looking for it and, and, and buying it. It's crazy. Very cool. So, okay. Um, you guys stand by for my, uh, my special event that I'm going to do on these comics. I just want to blow these out today and sell them to you and you guys can treasure hunt through them. Okay, sorry guys, that was Massimo trying to plan out our day. So anyways, as I was saying, um, it kind of reminded me like when I had my flower shop and people would come in, say for example, uh, their mother died or their father died or their uncle died and they would be like, you know, very sad and I'd have to like, you know, be very sympathetic to their feelings and be kind of like, um, you know, gentle with, you know, giving them prices on, you know, some people would come in and they would want the best of the best and, you know, price wasn't an, an issue. And then other people would come in and they were really struggling for money and you had to be very careful with the pricing. You know, they really wanted nice things, but they didn't have the money to pay for them. And so that was very, very stressful. And then they would leave and, you know, I'd quickly look at my appointment book and I would have a bride coming in, you know, with her mom and dad and her maid of honor and sometimes, you know, her, the fiance. And you'd have to switch gears from hearing the sad story to now you've got this bride coming in who's so happy and so excited about her upcoming wedding and she wants to see all the beautiful things that I can offer and I had to like I had to switch gears from being like sympathetic to being really excited for her and showing her all of the beautiful things that I could create that's how I feel right now <laughs> I feel like I just had to listen to this sad story about where these comics came from that they had to be sold you know without giving too much detail um, and now I have to be like, all right, you guys, 
I've got a great deal coming up for you. And it just, it does. It brings me back to the, the flower shop days where I had to go from like, oh my gosh, that's so sad. And then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna get on camera and be like, all right, this is a great deal coming up. All right, so with all that being said, I've got to get back to the reseller cottage um, because I have so much shipping to do and I do want to go live tonight. So I think I'm going to do 75 comics 75 comics of kind of like the collection that you just saw i'm just gonna count out 75 of them put them in a box and ship them out free shipping for uh, i'd like to do a hundred dollars i think it's worth that 75 comics for a hundred dollars shipped okay Four people. That's all I can offer it to is four people. And then that will leave me two or three lots to bring to auction for those of you that don't like to do mystery lots and you want to actually see with your own eyes what you're buying. So it's just going to be random. I'm just going to go through the first box, pick out 75 comics, put them in a box. You get what you got. You have no regret. If anybody out there wants to dabble and they look like they're in mint condition, um, I know the comic book market is uh, kind of a little bit, wib you know, wobbly right now. It really all depends on what's there. But um, I think that at $75, there's a good chance for you to make some money on a deal like that. And if nothing, if nothing else, $75, if you have to give a gift to someone for Christmas and they love old comics, I mean... It would be a really awesome gift to give someone 75 comics as a Christmas present. So let me know in the chat down below. I'm gonna download this video now. I'm heading back to the reseller cottage. I'm gonna be shipping all day and we will see you live later on this afternoon. All right, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please fill out the registration form down below. And when you come to the live event, let us know that you're registered. And uh, bye, everybody. Have a great day. Let's go make that money. Bye. Okay, so I'm back in the truck. And um, I'm trying to think of a really great price for you guys. And hopefully there's some home runs in there for you. Uh, I'd like to just blow them out because I just have so much inventory that I need to sell and I'd love to just do mystery lots of them. So after thinking about it for a while, um, I do want to bring some to auction so that um, you guys can look for yourselves. I think a really great deal on the comics would be now I can offer this to four people so I guess I'm gonna say the first four people that make a comment down below um, will get the buy it now um, price for the comics I'm sorry I'm a little dishuffled because I just was talking to Jesse and he was kind of telling me the whole story behind the comics and you know sometimes um, you know it's kind of sad it kind of like it it reminds me of uh, I owned a flower shop for years. All right, story time. <laughs> I owned a flower shop for years. And it kind of reminds me of when people would come into my store that... Uh, I need to take this call. Hold on one second. <laughs>